You gotta get like an eye contact or something. It shows you exactly who opened it up, who clicked on it. You know, you guys gotta use that so you know who's watching your emails that go out. But yeah, I mean, if you. If you Yeah, do that so we can right. get some eyes on it and start doing some due diligence and see what we're going to bite on. Um, exactly. So, yeah, this the new offering that's coming out. Keep me abreast of the situation. Um, you know, we could spend, you know, the same trade we did last time, you know, 300000 and go from there. I just need to see, I just need to see what the population look like. Um, and then we'll pretty much go from there. So, are you expecting this early February, late February? Um, let's say mid-February, and then we're going to get three to four weeks due diligence time. So, I think we'll fund this sometime in March, probably middle of March. So, I would say we would have it to you by the end of March, beginning of April, the latest. All right, and how many loans do you think is going to be in, in this uh, in this trade? No problem. Sounds great. All right, I'll look out. All right, I'll look out for that email and uh, let's make a trade happen. You got it, buddy. All right, talk to you later. Thanks. Just on the phone with one of my. So I was just on the phone with one of my vendors. They have another trade coming out. It's about seven hundred loans, second mortgages. Uh, we're gonna try to see what we can take down off of that. You know, most of the lenders have a minimum requirement to spend maybe a hundred, two hundred thousand. Um, this particular lender is a hundred thousand minimum. Um, and it's second mortgages. So they're going to give us a week to do our due diligence to see um, if there's anything we want to bite on. All right. So three things. This is for Palm Bilal from National Note Group. And I'm here to talk about three things most new note buyers uh, don't follow up with. So, or mistakes that they make. The first thing what we find is common is they don't record the assignment. They buy the loan and they sit on the assignment and they don't get the opportunity to to record it. That's typically the first thing that you know you should do um, is see an assignment off for recording. If you're waiting for the assignment to come in, because sometimes there's a delay with receiving the assignment, you definitely want to get your rest bullet out anyway, 15 days after the seller said they could buy it out. Uh, another thing we see most new note investors mistake that they make is they don't buy enough loans to start with. They might buy a loan. And the problem with that is if you have a bad experience from buying a loan, then you don't want to be in the note business again. So I always suggest, you know, maybe they buy one or two so they can get a different feel of what's happening because every loan in every situation is different. Um, and the last thing um, that most note investors um, have a problem or trouble with is basically getting education. It's very important to be educated in this investment before you get involved. Most people will just go to a meetup or come to a meetings and they get excited and then they just go buy a note, which is nothing wrong with that because it's a learn by doing business. But you want to have some education so you have a foundation on you know this type of asset class and this investment so you can be successful because they say information reduces risk. So that's what we had to discuss today. Three mistakes most new buyers make.